Hey everyone, Photognar here. Excuse the mess. So finally I've uh, managed to uh, get home and open the boxes and I am completely in awe of how much I actually bought. So I got, I got, you know, old motherboards from, from the 90s, like Socket 7, uh, motherboards all the way up to like the early O's. Uh, I'm going to be going through, you know, sorting all of this stuff, testing it. Uh, let me just give you like a, a quick uh, run through of, you know, I got some 486s uh, action going on there. I got some Intel P3s, I got some P4s, I got some Semprons, um, yeah, some old school uh, Pentiums. Uh, bought some uh, some new uh, 2032 lithium batteries to when I go through testing the motherboards if they need to have it exchanged. I got some uh, good old um, uh, slot uh, CPUs there as well. All sorts of uh, um, cards here. So we got the uh, obligatory uh, 3Com net cards, other net cards. We got uh, graphics cards, graphics cards, uh, a lot of graphic cards going on here. Uh, I got a little bit, just a little bit of memory uh, situation going on here. Uh, you know, back plates for the computers. I also got some new stuff, but this is this is my own from other builds. I got I got coolers. Fans, I got I got sound cards, got me a little bit of them sound blasters, sound blaster action and, and another action. And that's that's just yeah, you know, graphics cards again. Uh old school graphics. Um uh, all of these boxes are filled with uh main boards, but not necessarily the ones that are on here because some of these are quite new. So a lot of this is actually also older, retro, if you want to call it retro style main boards. Uh, got a, I got myself a single uh, keyboard with the, the DIN connector, but I, I'm missing, I'm still missing a proper screen, like an old school CRC monitor. I got a, I got a chassis down here actually that that will uh allow me to connect either an at or atx power supply because it's been uh, modded a bit uh got some old school speakers in the test but i'm very far away from getting anywhere so my my, my, my plan right now is i'm going to test everything i'm going to make a huge spreadsheet with all the things that i have all the things that are working and then i'm going to group them into three segments i think i'm going to group them into a a early to mid 90s build a late 90s build and a early to mid o's build something like that uh and and we'll see where where i get so i'm trying to like find the right parts for the right job uh i'm going to build a test test board on this uh, piece of wood so this will basically be where i will mount uh like breaking apart a chassis and then just so i can mount the motherboards as quite quite fast power supply like uh some optical drives hard drives whatever it's going to be on this one and that'll help me get through testing of what works and what uh, what doesn't work this is basically where I am. I still have my all of the chassis that I bought. I haven't. I, I, they were they are in Jodland. I couldn't have them uh, fit them in my car, so um, I gotta go over there and get the chassis. But I'm I'm far away from being able to start building a computer. I need to I need to find the right parts. A little a little bit daunting, I must say. This task is, uh, but hopefully one day, this this crazy mission here will be you know me having three unique not unique but three really cool retro machines i'll make sort of a, a small uh, gaming cafe like a land party sort of thing where 
get my buddies over to to try and spin up some uh, good old Diablo or some single player game, some Monkey Island uh, with a good Sound Blaster 16 audio. Uh, but yeah, still a lot to come. CRT monitors, keyboards, uh, PC cases need more of those. The, the right cables. I mean, I do have still have some of the old IDE cables, but I will be needing more of those uh, to build anything. Power supplies, AT power supplies. I'll need that. Uh, yeah, and let's see what works, what doesn't work. It's uh, there's a long <laughs> way ahead, but I'm really looking forward to this. I'm actually looking forward to testing everything, to stress testing it, to benchmarking it, to to see you know what works, what doesn't. I mean, does this sound card works? If if they do, I mean, it's there's a lot here, and I can share these with the world. I mean, I can sell definitely sell some of these once I verify that that they are working. Uh, save me some of the ISA slot ones and some of the PCI slot ones. Uh, same goes for the uh, stuff like graphics cards. So I won't be needing like uh, yeah, I don't know thirty different uh, AGP uh, cards or uh, PCI or ISA graphics cards. Uh, I mean this box is, is this box alone is just the uh, S3 Verge cards um yeah so there you have it this is where <laughs> where i'm at and and I, I i really hope you'll find it fun to go with me on this journey i'm not sure <laughs> how these videos are supposed to function but um i think next time i i put something out i'll probably have the test board ready a screen keyboard setup so so i could just like plug things together and then I'll show you basically. So some of these boards, I'll take them out of the bags. You can see most of them are equipped with a, like a, a CPU cooler, and there's of course a CPU underneath. There's some uh, memory, and um, yeah. So I don't even know what CPUs are hiding under there. Uh, so yeah, it's still a treasure hunt, even though I got almost all the stuff packed out, well, unpacked. So yeah, and this is a Intel, Intel Pentium 2 uh, from SciTech Computer. Uh, it's 266 megahertz, in case you were wondering. Yeah, so I think I think that'll be it for for today's video. Just didn't want to have you uh, sitting there thinking I won't be releasing anything besides the first teaser video. I hope you'll find it fun to go through this uh, with me. Um, I think it'll be sort of long form when I when I start testing and doing this. But perhaps some of you, if you're following this, could could, um, could write me in the comments what would be be fun to sort of put the emphasis on. Because I would just be doing what I think is funny uh, and cool to do, but but I may be missing something here. Another thing, I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Of course, I'm. I have some idea because this is all, this is every everything you see here. That's that's my childhood, my youth, my teenage years. I've been working professionally with PCs, computers, and IT for my entire life. So I basically know what I'm doing, but I don't know if I can remember all of this shit. I mean, computers have changed a lot in 30 years, even 20 years. So, so I mean, it, you know, just me figuring out the right parts, connecting that, going, having a, a nostalgia trip. It'll be super fun for me. Uh, trying to install Windows, even trying to find Windows 98 somewhere. Uh, get it installed it'd be so much fun but uh but i don't know still what i mean what's daunting right now is to figure out what what builds am i going to do and, and i guess i will find that out once i know what hardware i have and i know what hardware works so i can group them into pcs that are roughly within the same two three four years and 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 like from an era and yeah, I mean, 
hopefully this will be a lot of fun uh, um yeah i know that there are a lot of cool uh youtubers and retro pc builders they have their channels and they basically have already done all of this but as you all know comparison is is the death of joy so i don't really want to watch too much of you know other people having done all the things that i'm about to do and 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 and, and you know in a much better production environment uh, uh all of that i don't care about that i'm going to do this like like i want to do it i'm going to fail along the way i'm going to have my own experiences and and uh yeah so 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 i know that i can go and watch all these other ones for um input or inspiration but i'd rather you know watch as little as possible of people who have done all of this before me so i can make my own experiences and uh, failures and all that stuff along the way um cool i hope that all makes sense to you guys i mean drop me a comment if you have any I'm not sure what is to come, but I know that I'm looking so much forward to it. I mean, building retro or vintage PCs or PCs from my childhood and my teen years and setting those up, going to play those games and just try out the operating systems. Try, I mean, damn, it's going to be so much fun. And I hope you feel the exact same way about it. That's why you're here watching uh perhaps you came in because you thought i put up a, a <laughs> photography video which is most of my my followers on the channel they're used to me putting up photo stuff on photo Nord. but um yeah we're going to go vintage pc builds retro builds uh for the foreseeable future so thanks for um for joining thanks for watching thanks for your patience for still being here take care guys and girls have fun. Bye-bye.